What up, Eagle Talk fam? What's up, guys? We are back. Episode 126. Episode 126. What are we talking about today, baby? The importance of slowing down to speed up. Yes. So, y'all, at the time that we are recording this episode, when it's going to come live, it's right after Christmas. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's that time of year where, like, you don't know what day it is in between Christmas and New Year's. People still off work. You you, you, all you've been wearing is stretchy pants. Pajamas. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? You chilling. And um, and that's okay. So that's the first thing I want to say. It is okay to completely be in that system because hustle culture. Mm -hmm is a lot and i think because of and and we are guilty of it a million percent um the way that life is you feel like if you're not consistently doing Mm -hmm. you are going to miss something but there is so much value in actually slowing down because it actually will help you move forward in business and in life yeah i think um i think it's time to really think about your situation yeah to think about what you have going on of course, the new year is approaching, but really um, any changes that you want to make, any habits you want to change uh, and start gaining information and moving into the direction that you want to move into. Yeah, I, I know that, you know, y'all, we are big, um, big on setting intentions and setting goals for your life. But what where I feel like we have failed in the past and where a lot of people fail is that James clear quote. And I'm going to always say the quote over and over. Um, We do not rise to the level of our goals. We fall to the level of our systems, Mm -hmm. but here's the problem with systems. It takes time to build systems, right? And we just want to go. We want to just, we just want immediate results, but actually slowing down and building, putting, the processes in place is the difference maker. So for me, um, you know, the past couple of weeks, we have been in goal setting mode, you know, looking to see what we want 2024 and honestly what what the vision for our life looks like. Yeah. But I came up to the conclusion that first of all, I'm slowing down the end of the year. Like I'm not going to be like head down, just working, working, working like crazy. Um, but the last two weeks of the year, I have really been focused on, okay, what are the systems that I need in place in order to achieve said goal? And, you know, I even think about like literally the past um, few days, I've been thinking about my morning routine. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm in the process of writing, um, writing some, a book. I don't know what, again, here I go again. I don't know exactly when the book will come out, but it's a book designed for real estate agents. But I was, and it's, it's a goal. It's on my list, but I had to really sit and think through, okay, what does my morning need to look like Mm -hmm. in order to allow me the time to actually get the book written, Right. right? And just that simple process of stopping, slowing down, thinking through, you know, giving myself some opportunity for trial and error, I'm going to be way further along of actually getting this done Mm -hmm. than what we all think about doing. Like, okay, I'm going to write a book, but I'm never going to slow down or, or, you know, like whatever, I'm going to start running. I'm going to start eating clean, but not and never really sitting down and figuring out okay, what does that look like? What system, what plan has to be in place is going to be the difference of getting it done or not getting it done. And that's what we want to talk to, you know, the Eagle Talk family today about is actually slowing down to put those processes in place. Okay, so let's talk about um, why to slow down. I Mm -hmm. I think slowing down is almost like a springboard for you to move faster in, in the future. Um, just speaking from my e- example, um, just thinking, mm-hmm. you know, we talk about it all the time. Just take That's some the underrated. Yeah. Just take some time yeah. to think because we're life is so moving and fast forward all the time that we really don't understand how important thinking is. Mm-hmm. And for me, yeah, we can talk about thinking about 2024, but I'm thinking about 20. 54 yeah. you know what i'm saying like long-term thinking and and what really needs to happen um i said something to you we were talking about eagle talk yesterday and we were talking about um how it would 
live on the platforms for years and years and yeah. years that our grandkids we were kids talking were, about our purpose like yeah. thinking through like what is our purpose for it? and one thing that Corey said was like i just you know when i look at us having these conversations is not just for the now but this is actually legacy building yeah because our grandkids grandkids will be able to peek into our thought processes yeah. and our lives at this point in yeah, our life. Yeah. So even something like that, like But if that, we was too busy and we didn't slow down to do this. Exactly. That's yeah. that's my point. So even if you go to to, you know, life and business and career, I think you really need to sit down and think about like what you want that to look like. Um also when you're talking about slowing down, I think it's important to be grateful for where you are. Mm. Right? This has been a challenging year. For a lot of people. Um, for a lot of and people. A, lot of, a lot of people. So just even taking that time to just whether you whether you're journaling or however you decide to spend that time, I think to to sit in gratitude is important also. You know, it's interesting that you said that because, you know, we've run a few um goal setting workshops and things like that and you know, just been in goal setting mode. And one of, you know, if anyone has ever sat down and done something like that with me. One of the first things that um, I ask you is, okay, looking back at the previous year or six months or however you want to do it, you know, what's something that you're, what's an accomplishment you're really, really proud of? Mm -hmm. um, but then also what are your shoulda, coulda, woulda? Yeah. And I think so often we're so quick to close the chapter, especially if it has been a great chapter. Mm -hmm. We're so quick to close the current chapter and move on to the next thing. But the current chapter and the lessons that you've learned from that chapter, if we actually sit and think about it and reflect on it, it can inform, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It can yeah. help inform who we are in our next decisions. And I'm even thinking about it. You know, I can think about it from so many aspects, but I'm going to give y'all one, you know, from um, let, let's just talk, talk about a financial aspect, right? It's like really slowing down to look at, you know, what did you bring in? Like, how did you spend your money? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I think that there, we just talked about it. There's so many um, shame feelings for a lot of people around finance, especially in a year where finances might look different than last year. But it's so good to sit and think about how you operated in these situations, mm -hmm. reflect on it. And now it informs your decision making. So I'll give you all a great one for me. In 2022, not 2023, 2022, part of my grief process was um, Shawty got what she want. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, like, I, but, uh, uh, as you should have. Yeah, you know, and I'm not, and, and I'm not, um, I'm not. Um, but explain Shawty got what she wants. Shawty got what she wants. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, like, I wanted some instant, my mama was a shopper. I, I just felt like looking back on it now, I feel like the, you know, um, in my process, it was kind of like, life is short. I don't know how long I'm going to live. So if it's something that I wanted to do or see or experience or have, you know, as long as I could could afford it, I would go out and get it. And that wasn't a bad thing. Um, but in reflecting, right, what I have learned about myself because I've slowed down and I've reflected on that, it was just kind of like, you know what? That's cool, but none of those things brought my mom back, mm -hmm. and I still had to go through the grief, yeah. right? I, it it didn't it did not make me escape the grief process. So you know now because of the reflection piece, I understand more about myself and how I process when I'm in stressful situations, and as a result, I've put some parameters around myself when it comes to impulse spending, right? Mm -hmm. So if it's something that I really want. And I don't care if it's a Louis Vuitton purse or a shirt at Target. I have to I have to have 24 hours. Like if I wasn't going to the store with intentions on getting this thing or doing this thing, I have to give myself 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And if I, you know, if there is still a desire and it's still in the budget and all that stuff after 24 hours, then yes, I can get it. But I just put, you know, and, but what happens often is in 24 hours, I forget about it. Right. OK, so I'm glad you said that. Um what I realized, and I'm pretty sure that with the things that you had bought in that time, it's almost like the new car smell. Yeah. Right. It just yeah. wears off. It right? wears off. You, you're so excited about it um, in the beginning. And then it's kind of like, uh, you know, I got it. Let's, what's next? Right. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go to my example this year when I'm, I was talking about thinking because I really had to. Would you agree 
two things. Would you agree that this year you're probably working twice as hard for the same money that you made? Or less. Or less, <laughs> Yeah, right? it looks different. And we were at an event a couple nights ago, and Alvin Johnson asked me a question. He was like, Sia, would you say that this is the best year that you've ever had or the worst year? I said, well, it's not. Definitely Neither. not. Yeah, it's yeah. not the best, Neither. right? And it's not the worst, but it's definitely a, a couple notches down from 2021, yeah. right? And he said, yeah, about 97% of the people that I've asked that question have answered that way, right? Mm-hmm. And it made me start thinking. Then literally the next day, I was thinking about that question. And I was like, well, because it's not the worst, like what did I do differently to make it not the worst, yeah. right? The way you thought about it probably. No, well, yeah. But it was also Bradley has a, a thing that he says, the more hands you shake, the more money you make, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I did this year, especially third and fourth quarter. I'm a introvert. I'm a hermit. I go to the work. I go to the gym. I go home. I had to get back in these streets. Yeah. Right. I had to start shaking some hands, calling my realtors, meeting some people, um, sitting in front of sellers. Like I just had to increase the amount of people that I was in communication with. Mm -hmm. And that's been the biggest, like literally, if I can say 200 fold of what I was doing first and second quarter, the third and fourth quarter, just that, just me thinking about that and realizing that going into the next year is the biggest thing that really saved me in this, in year. this, this year. You know, I, I love that when you, I love when you saying that and even like from a business aspect, it has me thinking about, you know, um, because real estate, it's looked different this year. For Interest sure. rates were higher. Yeah. You know, we didn't have as many, like, gratefully, like, we were able to still sustain our lifestyle, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but it just looked different. And uh, and sometimes that was discouraging. Yeah. But what I know, and, and what happens is, like, in our field, and I bet y'all have felt this in, like, your different fields, when you have these slow down moments in your, I don't care if it's in your life or your business, sometimes it's easy to gravitate to the shiny object, right? Mm-hmm. So do I need to buy leave? or you know like if you're trying to lose weight do I need to you know go out and get this pill or get like like all these different things and I'm not saying anything's wrong with that but one thing that I figured out in Q4 right the real estate like started to turn a corner is like really slowing down and doubling back down on the basics yeah, right yeah. the basics of picking up the phone the basics of you know having conversations having face-to-face meetings you know um, coaching my team in a way where we're talking about like what that true nurture process and building relationship looks like Mm -hmm. and truly understanding that that may seem like, Oh, we're going backwards, but really that slowdown and that focus on the things that built you is exactly what you need to do in order to propel forward. Um, And then I I think we can even talk about that from a relational perspective, right? Um, You know, we are actually, um, in just a couple of days, we're going to go on our annual dream retreat. Mm-hmm. Um, and if we don't have that rhythm every single year of slowing down, mm-hmm. like it's not, is it the best time to go away? It's never a good time. Right. right? Um, and, but we know that in order for us to connect to, you know, not be moving a hundred miles an hour, we, I have so many friends that are married and, you know, we're so busy building businesses and raising kids and, you know, doing for everybody and checking all the boxes that you look up and we are so disconnected from each other Mm -hmm. because we haven't slowed down and had intentional time to think, to plan, to dream, to connect. And, um, you know, I just pray that I pray for the person who's listening to this, that, that this is like tugging on them. Like, yeah, I need to, even if it looks like saying no to something so Mm -hmm. that you can say yes to what really matters, that slow down is actually going to, it's like gas, right? You got to slow down to fill your gas tank. And if you don't actually stop to fill your gas tank, and, you know, check on your car, check your engine light, do all these things. Then you might be riding in a Bentley, but that Bentley is going to, like, come to a screeching halt at any moment because we are not stopping to take care of the actual vehicle. And we need to t- stop and take care of ourselves. Yeah, I think part of your slowdown also needs to be um, just kind of thinking and reflecting on what's working. Yeah, and what's you not. And, and what's not, right? Um, for so many years... Um, and I admit, you know, I'll, I'll still run thin, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go hard and, and wait on that big pop and I get that. But I think that, 
and I'm thinking about an opportunity that I had. I think I spoke about it with the barber school that I recently passed on, a new situation, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I had to really focus on what's working for me, yeah. right? Not on something that, yeah, you, you, you kind of, you're forcing it, right? Or it's a gamble. I was just, I was this morning, it was a guy on my Instagram. He's a big time better. And he put 50 grand on on uh, red last night and it hit. Red 23, it hit. He got 50 grand back, right? But if he would have walked with the, away from the table with zero, what does that feel like, exactly. right? So so don't, right now it's not time to gamble is what I'm trying to say. It's, yeah. it's time to focus on what you know that works and what you can, what you can build on um, but more importantly, to sit down and think about where you want it to go. Yeah. Right. We we can we live so many times in in situations to where it could work, but it's probably not going to work, and you know that going into it. Yeah. And not only that, you're not going to even give it the time and energy for it to work. So yeah. you've put in six months of nothing, as opposed to saying, you know what, this is these are the cards that I'm holding, and and. It's going. It's working, and I need to continue to get educated and move it forward. Does that yeah. make sense? No, it makes complete sense. And and I'm thinking about it from from this standpoint, um, you know, from biblical a biblical um, reference. You know, if what are you building on? What's the foundation, right? Mm-hmm. If you if you build on a firm foundation, then whatever you're building can grow. Yeah. But if you build it on sand. Mm-hmm. You know, once the shore, once the waves come, it's wash going it to wash it away. Yeah. And and I think this is why it's important to to slow down because we need to like firm up that foundation. Mm-hmm. But here's my question for you, CL, and we can kind of go through these together because you know we live our lives like as with the focal point of the five Fs: faith, family, fitness, finances, and fun. So, what do you? Let's start with faith. Like, mm-hmm. what do you think? Because somebody might be like, well, how in the heck do I slow down? Right. What does slowing down and putting an emphasis on faith, what faith? What do you think that would look like for you? Uh, well, I can just speak recently. I've been spending my mornings in my Bible. Yeah. You know, not every day, but it went from zero to three. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, so. so. And, and I just want to say this, because somebody feels like if it can't be 100 percent every day, yeah. it's not even worth trying. Yeah. So I love that you're acknowledging like I'm I'm growing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, also, I'm. Um, I am having more com- okay, Johnny. I was having a conversation with Johnny and we're about to do a Sunday morning Bible study, right? Mm-hmm. Just just for about an hour. And I'm just I don't know a lot about the Bible, right? I've I've heard scriptures and quotes. I probably do. Yeah. But I've heard you know scriptures and quotes and stuff like that through the year, but now I'm getting into the Bible. Yeah. And, and what I hear you saying, because like how many people like I'm going to get more in my Bible in 2024. Yeah. But if we are not actually blocking the time, mm-hmm. looking for accountability, you know, figuring out what that looks like, slowing down enough to actually do it, then it's going to be a lofty goal that you're also going to have on your vision board for the next year to get more. In your and Bible. I'm smart enough to know that in order for me to get serious about it, I have to have some some outside accountability. Yeah. You know, People so, come so alongside you. Yeah, I hope that answers your question. Okay, so family slow down. Let's talk about what that looks like um, for us. Um, and just when I think about it, we just had a really, I mean, we, we continue to have conversations about, you know, I know one thing that you always talk to me about and, and I'm, I'm figuring out what, ba- oh, not balance, but what rhythms look like there is like, Everybody get, I'm such an outgoing, forward facing person. Mm-hmm. So what does it look like? What part is just for you? Mm-hmm. And what part is just for our boys? And I'm even thinking about Cameron and we talked about it. We talked about, you know, going into the new year. We do a good job of being at home together, but not being present. Yeah. So we have talked about like, okay, what does that truly look like to be present? And, you know, one thing is like when my little my little boy, he would tell us like, pay attention to me. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh, let me put my phone up and mm-hmm. actually pay attention to him um, because there is nothing so important Mm -hmm. that you know there definitely are times y'all where like you have to you need to work or you need to do x y and z but there is nothing more important than really putting that emphasis and that focus on family Mm -hmm. so whatever that looks like like being intentional about you know breaking down your day or yeah we could go look at a property but hey instead we're gonna go to the zoo or Mm -hmm. x y and z with family yeah um for family i well i know it's not i think i have 
a couple of nights a week. It's even in my phone. It goes off at eight o'clock. Where me and my son, we read. What's the name of the book? It's, it's like, like a preteen. Yeah, yeah, it's a great book. We'll put the link. It's like a preteen. It's called like, something for tweens. Tweens, yeah. right? Like almost a preteen. Yeah, it's a, it's but, a but book it, that yeah, you're talking about money, relationships, um, growth, uh, faith, all kind of stuff. But we read it together. Yeah, and I have him take notes too. That's the first thing with Corey. I'm giving Corey a little bit more free reign to explore the real estate space. Yeah, which is interesting to watch because he's. He's going out here cultivating his own relationships, right? Not just my relationships and, and piggybacking off the people that I know. He's in the world creating his relationships. A lot of them is ironically from Facebook, which is yeah. kind of crazy. Um, and as far as with you, I'm having more conversations with you just about what I want, right? What mm-hmm. I want our life to look like. Yeah. Um, as opposed to thinking you know. Because exactly. it changes from time and to time. And making sure we're on the same page. Yeah. Because we, we just had a conversation the other day when you told me you want more of something and I was like well I need you to define more yeah yeah because my idea of more yeah and your idea of more may be different and you know I don't want you to be like well I vocalized and said I want more but I'm like but you know I'm thinking yeah. more is this and you thinking more is that and yeah. we're still not connected and those are hard you know not necessarily hard conversations to have but you got to slow down and have a hard conversation yeah. instead of being like this trick ain't even giving me more of X Y Z yeah yeah it could be it could be dinner time, one on one time, walks, whatever it is. But I think, I think it should be vocalized that whatever it is that, that you're, you, looking, that for. you're looking for, yeah, for sure. Okay, what about fitness? What about slowing down in the fitness realm? What does that look like? Um, fitness slow down, just more time in the sauna. Y'all, y'all know I love the sauna. Uh, it's 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 my peaceful place to think. Um, and I think that we need to do more walks. We haven't been doing those as consistently as possible. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, still. <laughs> but, but we will. But we but that, walk and but, we talk. Yeah, that was our thing yeah, that's during our COVID. Thing. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. So we need to get back on that. Uh, okay, so I think for me, for fitness slowdown, uh, right now, you know, I'm still on my alcohol free journey. Mm-hmm. Um, and even the, like, that is fitness because I'm really being aware on what is serving me. Yeah. And if I didn't stop and think through, Am I doing like sometimes you're just doing what you're doing because you always did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Routine. you know, I'm not saying like y'all. If y'all see me with a glass of wine in in nine months or tomorrow, you know, it's not that I'm quitting on myself, but I'm just being very conscious about the decisions that I'm making. Mm-hmm. And you know, especially women, y'all, I think that we can be so um, hard on our bodies, and I am like really just taking some time every day to just really love exactly who God created me to be, how he created me, um, because this body has carried my babies. This body has taken me through, you know, all of the grief cycles. Like, I think about my brothers and sisters. By the time they were my age, their bodies no longer supported them. Mm -hmm. Um, And I am just being intentional about being grateful for exactly what this body is doing, but then also being intentional about how can I take better care of it. I love that. Uh, For finances, it's really going to be about slowing down, putting your systems in place. But for the first time, um, I think we are going to, we talked about it, so I'm going to talk about it here. I think we're going to actually, for the first time, try to put ourselves on a budget. No? I've been on budgets. (laughs) 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 Well, I'm going to try to put myself on a budget. I've never done it. Um, I've been really thinking about it, and I'm going to give it a shot. Just see what happens. Okay, I'm, we're going to move on. We're going to say keep our marriage intact. <laughs> um, I'm going to move on from that. Okay. Um, then, you know, I'm the same way. With finances, it's not about, you know, um, I just, I'm looking at money differently, yeah. right? Um, mm-hmm. I'm looking at, I'm, I'm no longer, I, I posted this on my social media. Like, my goal right now, I'm not chasing production. I'm chasing impact. Yeah. And um, just the way I'm thinking about, that looks different, but actually having a plan to steward our finances a little differently um, moving forward, but also like investments, Mm -hmm. you know, like I made a massive investment in a coach right now um, for myself and my business. And I'm just so excited to do the work. Mm -hmm. But, and and I'm going to tell you what's interesting is that a lot of the work that my coach is challenging me to do, it's all foundational. Mm. Right. You know, you hire people and you, you know, you want and I, and I know that eventually this investment will fast pace me in front of like I'm going to minimize my mistakes and I'm going to launch 
a little fa- much faster than if I didn't have her. But right now, it looks like really slowing down and being thoughtful about like the purpose behind it mm-hmm. and creating systems and processes that are not sexy, are not exciting, yeah. that no, you know, that none mm-hmm. of my Instagram followers are gonna be interested in. You're doing but, the work. That's but, the hard work. But this is right, this slowdown period, um, this putting your head down and just building these foundations, I know will reap um in cr- like crazy benefits. All yeah. right. Then I, let's talk about what slowing down for fun. What does that look like? If for fun, we're going to probably slow down and be present. Yeah. Um, and just spend more time with friends. I think that's important right now. I actually want to do more um more dinners too. We haven't done like couples dinners and yeah. stuff like that. I think we need to get be, get better about getting those on the calendar maybe once or twice a month. Yeah. People. You know, I'm with you, Corey, because like I again I know that life can be so fast paced. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about one of my good friends, Monica, mm-hmm. which was your good friend at one point. Mm-hmm. We, that's, but Monica, you know, every time I see her, I'm like, we should get together more often. Mm-hmm. Y'all always I, cancel though. But we, cause life, yeah. right? Cause these kids and, and these businesses and all that. So like for me, slowing down for fun is going to be putting some non-negotiable time on calendar mm-hmm. with people that I love and care about. And, you know, like at least once per week, I want a face to face meeting. Now, yeah, sometimes it's with clients, but most of my clients end up really being in my sphere and yeah. in my life. Yeah. Um, but not being so busy building that I'm not sustaining what we already have. Yeah. Right. And and like literally not like not rescheduling joy. I know I've heard that before, mm-hmm. but, you know, whether that is, you know, sitting like I'm thinking the other night, Cameron was so my son was like, I want us to like go out to dinner and like go hang out. And I didn't feel like going out to dinner, but I'm like, hey, we can have a little picnic on the floor and talk. And we did. Mm-hmm. And that was fun, right? It was fun to like not make whatever I was doing so important. And it was family time, but yeah. not to make whatever I was doing so important that it canceled out everything else. And and here's the thing, by slowing down what it does and be intentional about what you're doing in the slowdown, it's going to give us momentum and it's going to give y'all eagles momentum to speed up in other areas yeah. um, because you have fueled yourself. And this is the last thing that I want to say. If you feel spread thin every day, mm. you know, I'm thinking about a good girlfriend of mine. We just saw her the other day. You were like, she looks good. I'm like, yeah, she looks like she's been resting Yeah, because there was a point where every time you saw her, she just looked so drained, yeah, stressed out, stressed, yep. drained, and and who like like you can have it back. Like if that's the way I want to live, mm-hmm. or I'm gonna end up living, I would rather go clock in somewhere, mm-hmm. or you know what I'm saying. I would rather you so know when you off, you off. Get when I'm off, I'm off. Yep. Like it's just not worth living in a way that um that is draining and sucking the life out of you and if you find yourself feeling that way you may need to just take an intentional pause in certain areas to build what you need to build so that you're not scaling chaos yeah yeah all right guys so slow down a little bit uh we're gonna speed it up in the future we hope that this serves you well yeah hope you and, and listen speaking of slowing down If you could slow down and share this episode with a friend and leave us a five star review, um, it would be it would be like a Christmas miracle. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Right. Hilarious. All right, friends. We'll talk to you later. Bye. See y'all on the next one.